All right, hello everyone, and now welcome to a game between Moon versus Sock here on Last Refuge. Apparently, Tuna Fish is telling me that Happy's current battle net stats are 1041 and 14. I don't know if that's some sort of spoofing um, in order to get those particular stats, or um, if he's Happy is just that an amazing of a player. Maybe a little bit of both. Um, he could probably, uh, if, if he played against me, um, you know, 15 or 10,000 or 1,050 games, he'd probably, I'd probably win about 10 to 14 of them. So maybe that is the case. Maybe I'd get a little bit better after all that time, but I really don't have the dedication, time or ability to do that, nor is my psyche um, ready to get beaten into a pulp that much. He streams at all. He's, well, yeah. He, they are all legit. He streams it all. Well, hats off to you, Happy. Um, the Those 10, 20 wins would feel great, though. Yeah, they, they would. I mean, they'd have to be some sort of, like, cheese, right? Like, I, I'd have to, like, he'd have to, like, random into Night Elf. I would have to, he wins random times 1v2 at time. Dude. All right. Hap, Happy has a lot to be joyful about if he is getting that good at Warcraft 3 and getting ready for... And Warcraft 3 Reforged, which, is, well, the release date is technically um, in over a year, in December 2019. I'm assuming that really just means quarter four of 2019. And I'm hoping that we get perhaps a beta a little bit earlier as well. And I'll probably be doing a, some campaign walkthrough and play. But I also know that um, casting-wise... Uh, I, I don't know. Will people still want to watch casts while they can watch Grubby play live games? I mean, Grubby gets like 1,500 viewers on Twitch consistently. Recent Warcraft 3 patches and the future remake. The meta is evolving so much. Yeah, I, I got to admit the, the meta is evolving much faster than my brain can wrap around it. It hasn't really stabilized yet. And, and that's, what, that's one of the downsides of making such drastic changes in Warcraft 3. Um, the Keeper of the Grove changes, and, and the Druids of the Talon changes. Um, you know, where Fairy Fire Cyclone and not, not being nearly as strong. Things are like just changing that many things. You have to give time for the community to play around and let the meta actually establish and, and start to level off. It really feels like Keeper of the Grove, at least at the highest levels, have started to um, started to level off in terms of how strong that particular strategy is, and whether or and how players know how to combat against it. Um, there have been also a number of changes to human. Um, I, I, I feels like human got a little bit weaker overall. Rifleman did get a buff, but then again, it feels like all range units got significantly stronger, and the rifleman in general just got the same buff or the same appropriate buff without actually getting comparatively stronger since all range units got a little bit better. Anyway, Force Troll Trapper will get taken down here f as all of this gets cleaned up. Keeper of the Grove sitting at level 2. This is going to be a Keeper of the Grove Archer strategy going up against um, the humans. Now, also one of the biggest changes was, um, well, making defend work as though it was part of the tooltip. Now, um, I'm all for making things work just like the description says they should work. But after over, what was it, six years, seven years of Defend working a specific way, um, when you make it work like it's described, well, th that's pretty much a nerf because everyone expects it to work a specific way. And now all of a sudden, um, Blizzard saying they didn't really nerf it. They just made it work how it was supposed to. Um, how it worked, how it's supposed to work changes in people's minds based off of personal user experience. And after seven years of experience, you, you expect it to work a certain way. Fultman with Defend now significantly weaker. Snack, thank you for the follow. 
as the Archmage does get up to level 3 and already at plus 15 damage. This is actually really scary. The Archmage's damage is significantly higher than you would expect. And you can you could tell by that one particular um, archer that it had to get microed out significantly faster than you normally would have thought. The archmage is essentially dealing 50% more damage than you than it normally would, and on top of that, has gloves of haste. Um, the additional mana regeneration is going to help out as well, as that archmage should be able to drop a lot of water elementals in the upcoming fight. Now Sock has already finished up his expansion here off to the north. Uh, in my opinion, Keeper of the Grove isn't that good against Undead. Uh, against Undead... Uh, yeah, like later in the game, it is. it just has really no good abilities. Uh, Every time you try and use Entangle, it's just going to get devoured. Meanwhile, Moon, at the 5 minute 30 second mark, already has an Alchemist out onto the field as the Keeper of the Archmage is just able to push back against that Keeper of the Grove much faster than I would have expected. Down to 45 damage, down to 12 damage here. Archmage trying to chase after that Keeper of the Grove. Keeper of the Grove down to 3 hip, 3 uh, th or 13, now back up to 21 as that damage is adding back up again. Keeper of the Grove going to finish off that Footman because of that entangle as the Keeper of the Grove heads back here. All right, okay, it's Imba against Orc and Human. All right, well, um, well, well, we'll see how all of that works out. Maybe if you could actually use Spell Steal from the Spellbreaker and like move an entangle off from one of your units onto your opponent's units, that would, that would actually... That'd actually be really funny. Um, as the Archmage now makes its way back around. Force Troll Shadow Priest going to get entangled here. No Abolish Magic available. It's going to get taken out. There it goes. And now the Keeper of the Grove is going to have an absolute field day. There is another entangle. And even with the... Oh, there's the Abolish Magic. And this is one of the reasons why I said Abolish Magic is so important in this matchup. Keeper of the Grove getting... Trying to get away. Down to 26 hit points. One more Fireball would have finished it off. Instead, 350 gold for a scroll of town portal to send him packing. Keep of the Grove already feeling much better, but there is a cost to that. Moonwells are now all pretty much empty at this point, and any follow up play from Moon is going to end up being very, very costly. Keep of the Grove rely on early harassing killing units, and Entangle allows it. Against Undead, it won't work because you may heal unit and stop unit from dying. Yeah, having a 200 hit point heal right out of the gate, also very important, and it doesn't really change the natural strategy of Undead. Um, for going for uh, the Death Knight first. Sock versus Moon here. 37 supply compared to 40. There is the Acid Bomb going across multiple units. As you can see, all of that damage over time. What's happening? Archmage gets up to level 4. And Archmage now trying to fight back here. Gets addition additional damage here as the Alchemist down to 348 hit points. There's an Abolish Magic trying to save the units again. As the Keeper of the Grove may get another Entangle off onto that poor Forest Troll Berserker. There it is again. No, onto the Forest Troll Shadow Priest. It's going to abolish itself and now make its way back off to the north as it tries and runs away. That one Forest Troll Berserker. Oh, entangle onto that Berserker instead as the Alchemist. Well, well, Alchemist may end up taking a little bit too much damage and be sent home. Keeper of the Grove down to 190 hit points. Meanwhile, back off to the north here. There are no towers in position. And with that... Um, with that, that is going to be a problem. Do I have daily and dollar short copyrighted? No, that's actually a very common saying. Um, it may not be common in terms of what Warcraft 3 community, but it is overall fairly common uh, being a day late and a dollar short. It's just another expression of being a missed opportunity. It's like shoulda, woulda, coulda. Um, if only I had... Like what? Oh, th Hacky, thank you for the cheer. It's like saying, if only I had $100,000 and inve invested it in Berkshire Hathaway back in 1981, I would have been... Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you for a dime. Uh, 11 cents right there, real dime, as we're taking a look back across here. Now, Archmage is already upgrading the keep, does need to get dual arcane sanctums up, and needs a lot of healing. Goblin Alchemist will close in that gap rather nicely as the Riflemen are being added into this group here. All right, Acid Bomb onto the Ogre Mauler. Um, pretty much only plus two dam or plus two armor now. As we are taking a look at the Ogre Mauler, is it going to get taken out there? Down to nine damage, one more shot, there it goes. 
Am I excited for Warcraft 3 Reforged? I am very excited for Warcraft 3 Reforged. Wondering how all what is going to happen with it as Moon comes across with a whole bunch of Force of Natures. Trying to finish off a couple of these ends. Eric, thank you for the subscription. As we're taking a look back across here, Archmage now lo just looking to pull back. Army size is 51 to 50. Sock is actually in the low upkeep. And, um, well, no upkeep now with the help of one of those Force of Natures. As we are now clearing out this Ogre Lord creep camp here. Rubber Cookie, thank you for the subscription. I don't know if... Are these actual subscriptions from... Uh, Twitch, I'll have to double check. It could also be just a YouTube subscription, which is still very nice. Thank you very much. Not going to diss YouTube subscriptions. Still want to get to 100,000. Maybe I'll get my silver, silver subscription button one day. Archmage, now coming back across here. Archer, gonna get saved though, as the Keeper of the Grove now retreating. It looks as though the economic advantage has been neutralized by Moon with that expansion. But, um, who is going to be able to come out ahead in the next portion? Alright, more Ents now being brought over. Keeper of the Grove getting entangled back down. Alchemist down to 257 hit points. Uses a potion of lesser invulnerability there. Alright, continuing to fight back. Subscription from a regular... Oh, thank you for the uh, Amazon Prime subscription. As a scroll of healing used to try to keep all the units alive. Meanwhile, Ogre Mauler may get taken down. No staff of preservation. Yo! Wow, just in time to save it right there. And denying experience left and right. Moon, with those Staves of Preservation, that Staff of Preservation's cooldown, I believe, is only 90 seconds compared to a Staff of Sanctuary's 120. Because of that, you're able to teleport units back home fairly efficiently. The fact that it's also a Tier 2 only item um, means that going into the um, early late game, your opponent has could perhaps already be denied a level or two because of those staffs of sanctuary, and that's exactly what we're seeing right here. If Moon can continue to build off of that, that would be great. Um, Iox, Ixo Pi, thank you for stopping on by. Only sometimes, yeah, catching his live feed is good. Um, I'm glad you guys like my live feed as the alchemist trying to finish up this four, the remainder uh, of this 4-4-4 four, four, four creep camp. All right, there you go. Alchemist now sitting at level 3. We are going to go into some pocket towers to set up a, po a possible expansion here as we are now looking at the Keeper of the Grove going after this Ogre Lord creep camp. Alchemist is going to get closer to level 4. Keeper of the Grove will stay at level 4 here. But double Warsong Battle Drums, not very useful. Alchemist continuing to finish off all of these units here. Should be picking up a Tome of Intelligence onto that Keeper of the Grove. Um, anything that gets you more damage and more entangles, always very useful as Ents are now just being well pulled all over the place. Um, Alchemist sitting at level 3. Paladin now being added in here. An Archmage, Paladin, Alchemist, that is a lot of healing across the board. Rifleman with piercing damage should be able to shut down these Dryads, and this fight is going to go into Mountain Giants. How much do you pay for internet per month? Is it a flat fee or uh, pay for megabytes used? Oh, it is a flat fee, um, but I, I pay for um, one of the fastest upload-download speeds around here. I don't actually have fiber as an option yet. Um, so I get 300 down and 30, 30 up. No one, I'm, yeah, unless I was play, paying from my cell phone. Anyways, Archmage is going to try to battle it out here. Mountain Dryan uh, getting in those taunts, absorbing a lot of damage. Scrolls of healing as well. Archmage is here. We should see a Staff of Sanctuary pick up that knight and take him back home. Meanwhile, Paladin still joining in on the fight here as the knights could eventually be in trouble. Alchemist sitting at level 4 does have or had chemical rage now transferring some items as well keeper of the grove has a potion of greater mana what's going to be happening here mountain giant and this must actually hurt a lot knowing that after all of your damage all of your fighting dealing 1600 points of damage to a, a unit like a mountain giant all of that can be simply reversed with a simple click and a staff of preservation to pick him up and take him away. Let's take a look. Is it going to happen? Acid Bomb, Mountain Giant, down to 22, down to 10. He could get taken down. He does. Beautiful use of Acid Bomb. No, he knew that his opponent was going to staff a Sanctuary yet. So, so what Sock did right there was he purposely waited until it was in low hit point range and then allowed himself to do exactly that Acid Bomb and let the damage over time finish off the unit. 
All right, acid bombs going around left and right. Let's take a look at the 78 supply compared to 79. Both sides with large armies. However, Sock does have a third base now up and running. Let's take a look back down to the south here. Moon's expansion is pretty much going to get taken out. Oh, I have a one gigabyte data plan. Wow. Um, each of my videos um, is probably three gigabytes to upload. So, yeah. Or is that a gigabit um, download data plan? Anyways, let's take a look at this. Tree of Life will get taken out here in just a moment. Squirrel of Town Portal, is it going to be enough? Will it be able to finish off the mortar teams? Yes, it does. Expansion down. Beautiful timing on that Squirrel of Town Portal there. And all of a sudden, Moon is finding himself down three bases to one. This is potentially game changing but moon does have the larger army because he doesn't have as many workers tree of life now being re rebuilt meanwhile back off to the north here knights joining in on the fight gonna take down some of those buildings now going into high upkeep not highly recommended at all as it's it's better to just kill one of your own peasants and as that would end up giving you more gold per second uh, my summer uh, car game about being you know, building a car. All right, don't sorry, I'm getting distracted by chat in um, by Twitch chat. All right, sock. What is his follow up game plan going to be? He has the economic advantage. He has workshops producing flying machines. I do not believe the bomb upgrade is getting started at all. And what could end up happening is that those units well could be fairly useless except for there are chimeras already out onto the field chimeras with their very heavy magic damage two shotting a guard tower there's one there's two there's the squirrel town portal flying machines are here ready to go no are we gonna see oh staff of sanctuary was it or staff of preservation was in time flying oh there's another staff of preservation right there and that is huge are the flying machines just going to go straight for the base? I do believe so as the... Uh, well, there goes one Chimera. This Chimera was able to heal back up completely. Meanwhile, the Alchemist was able to get away as the main army now rushing in from the north. Sock pushing in with a level 2 Paladin, level 3 Alchemist. Now going to try to fight its way through. The flying machines are going to make their way and go after the Chimera and make short work of that. The Knights finally going to be joining back in on the fight there goes another chimera ents now joining in the priests have the spell and quickly take that down beautiful play by saw acid bomb now across multiple units as the paladin could be looking to try and heal all of these units again all right moon is in trouble he is up against the ropes suffering a lot of damage meanwhile let's take a look at this back across here this night holy light is getting saved continually as we are looking at a mountain giant gonna get taken down one more mountain giant could end up falling here in just a moment water elemental being brought over this night is in a bit of trouble holy light he is going to be in uh, be able to run free as a second mountain giant taken down and there you have it sock taking this game here with a 91 supply army even though the score difference was only 1500 that final fight um, really showed that sock predicted and knew where moon was going with his strategies he showed knights and then uh, before i think he even saw his first chimera had eight flying machines ready for that engagement and that was a beautiful win by sock Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.